The following program is being brought to you on the Voice America Variety Channel. For more information about our network and to check our additional show hosts and topics of interest, please visit voiceamericavariety.com. The Voice America Talk Radio Network is the worldwide leader in live Internet talk radio. Visit voiceamerica.com. The views and ideas expressed on the following program are strictly those of the host or guests and do not necessarily reflect the views and ideas held by the Voice America Talk Radio Network, its staff, and management. Welcome to Up Close with Chris Tinney. Don't forget to visit ChrisTinney.com for more information about today's topics and download the new Spread Peace app that makes it easy to take action and advocate for the causes you care about. And now, here's your host, Chris Tinney. Welcome to Up Close with Chris Tenney, and welcome for being here. Thank you for coming today. Hey, guys, are you ready to make some history? Are you ready to do some radio like nobody's done radio before? I can tell you that's what this show is all about. This is the world premiere only on Voice America Variety Channel. Um, first of all, I just want to say thanks to all the listeners that are joining me from some of the previous stations I've been on, going all the way back to KAPY in Port Angeles. I still talk to some of you folks. Thank you so much. Soft Rock Cafe in Bellingham 104.1, KPUG 1170 in Bellingham. And of course, the Tan Talk Network out in Florida where Taisha and I were out serving the homeless for nearly a year and uh, broadcast from 1340 WTAN out of Clearwater, Florida. Some great people down there doing some great work as well as WDCF 1350 in Dade City WZHR 1400 in Zephyr Hills and of course KDON KDWN 720 here in Las Vegas Nevada why did I get off of those stations and decide to come to Voice America and be part of this because we're creating something much more folks we're creating a, a community of people that are coming together this isn't just about the show it's not just about this one hour a week this show is about connecting like-minded people so that we can go out and do some big stuff in the world. This show is about introducing you to people that are up to something in the world. And I don't know about you, but I love being around people that are up to something. I hate being around people that are doing nothing, you know, like Snuffleupagus on, on – uh, uh, what was that show with Big Bird? Sesame Street. Thank you, producer. Uh, it's Sesame Street. That That is, uh, you know, snuffle up, I guess, Big Bird would come up and say, come on, snuffle up, let's go do it. And then, you know, snuffle up, would look at him and say, oh, Bird, I don't know. I don't know if we should do that, Big Bird. No, this show is not for Snuffleupagus. This show is for people that are out there in the world making it happen. We're going to introduce you to people over the next few sh episodes, like Bruce Perlowin, the CEO of Hemp Inc. Matter of fact, I just got back from Mexico last night visiting a, a, a mission for the children of migrant uh, workers, Sparrow's Gate. Got in about Gosh, really, last night. And while I was on my way back, I got a text that Bruce Perlowin, one of our upcoming hosts, is going to be, he was in the Arizona Journal, the Las Vegas newspaper, because of a 4,000-acre animal sanctuary out in Dolan Springs, Arizona. But he's also the CEO of Hemp, Inc., a company that's really making a difference in the world and has made tons of donations to causes and people and, and things that I dearly care about. Now, that's the type of people we're going to introduce you. Daniel Brinkley, author of Saved by the Light. He's going to be coming uh, one of our upcoming interviews. One of the best-selling authors of all time. Shares his experience of actually being clinically dead for 28 minutes. Who he met. What he learned. Never a dull moment when you're on the air with Daniel Brinkley. I've had the privilege of interviewing him before. And I can tell you, Jonathan Wild, uh, Keepers of the Wild. Uh, uh, rescues big cats, lions, tigers from the circuses and the shows originally. Now, apparently, the police are, are confiscating them from drug dealers, and that's his number one source of the, of the big cats that he's saving. And, and he's building a, a second animal sanctuary for the elephants and giraffes and other animals there in the circus. We're gonna, we've, got a, we've reached out to the Captain Paul Wilson of the Sea Shepherd, Sea Shepherd Conservation Society. If you haven't seen them, those guys are awesome. They're out there on the waters fighting battles every day to make the world a better place. Reached out to Jeff Bridges, who's passionate about uh, feeding the people that are hungry. So we're really excited. And that's, that, those are the kind of people. This is like coming into my living room and hanging out with me. This is the first show. We, I told them not to put out the press releases, not to put out a big promotion, because I really want to invite you. 
my friends to come into my living room, hang out with me, meet some cool people. And as we know, you become like the people you hang around, right? So that's why we don't have no snuffleupaguses around here. <laughs> we were hanging around some really cool people. But let me share with you real quick before we get started, uh, taking your phone calls and sharing some more information on what we're going to be doing, a little bit about up close and what it's all about. You can go to my website, ChrisTinney.com, that's T-I-N-N-E-Y.com, and you'll see what it's all about. We're creating an online community. This show doesn't stop at the end of this hour. Your connection with the people you meet doesn't stop at the end of this hour. First of all, when you go to ChrisTinney.com, you'll see Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, all the social media accounts, Instagram. I hope you join in those. I hope you follow along and enjoy the information that you get. We don't send too much stuff out. You know, every day or two, we will give you an update on what's happening and a link to some good information. But we also have a group on, on Goodreads. If you're not familiar with Kindle, that's the online community that Amazon recently paid a billion dollars for with a B, because it's a great group of people that are passionate about the written word, literature. And what we're passionate about in our, our group on Goodreads, the, just search on Up Close with Chris Tinney and Goodreads and you'll find it. And of course, there's a link on our homepage. We're, that's where I work with you. This show isn't about me. This show is about you. This is where you and I come together with all the other great people that, that are listening in and will listen to the recorded versions of this show on iTunes and Google Play and, every, and on the phone app coming out in just a couple of days. Uh, that's where we meet. And we talk about the authors, the books that have touched our lives. Right now we're talking about Mother Teresa and, and, and her book that she wrote, No Greater Love. Uh, we've had other people recommend books like White America and, and, and books that will really educate you and, and, and excite you because you'll, you'll learn how you can actually have an impact on these issues, not just get all depressed, right? You watch the news, we've got ISIS on the move, the economy, uh, you know, FIFA, even our, even our sports. <laughs> you know, it, it, that's not what this group's about. This group is about books that help us get inspired to take action, give us that boost during the week. The other thing we do that's really fun is that we give away a free Kindle every week. Matter of fact, after the show, we're going to go on that group and we're going to be giving away a free Kindle to one of the callers from today or from one of the people that has posted in the group contributing. So we're going to give away a free Kindle. That's just a fun way for you to stay connected with the authors that you're going to meet that we're going to be interviewing on the show. We also have a new phone app coming out. When you go to ChrisTinney.com or you do a search on Up Close and uh, in Google Play, and in iTunes, uh, you'll currently, it's already there. It's still in beta version for another three days till it's finalized, but you'll find an app. And on that phone app, that's where you can listen to this show at your leisure anytime you want. But what it's also about, it's about helping you take action with the things you learn. So when you download the Spread Peace USA app, that's what we've called it, the Spread Peace USA app, you'll not only have access to this show every week, but you're also going to be able to communicate with other people that have downloaded the app. So if you want to help animals, if you want to get involved with Taish and I helping the homeless, if you want to take action to help the environment, or maybe you just want to find some good content or, or information that you can share online, you're, you know, that's where you're going to find it. So we're really excited about the phone app because we know about 70 to 80% of the people today are actually on their cell phones. So uh, feel free to join us there. We're also going to get together for real life events. So we're going to have people from uh, each city host an event. Some of them, Taish and I will come into and we'll go out for the day and we'll do something great in your community. That'll be different. I know we're really passionate about our, our homeless friends and, and the underprivileged, especially the children that live out there. 35,000 people die every single year on the streets of America homeless. Uh, we've known many of them. And that's really what changed our lives and caused us to, to want to see how we could have a bigger impact in the world. And that's really what Up Close with Chris Tinney is all about. We're, we're about helping you connect with some great people, raise your game, raise your vibration, and get involved to take action with other like-minded people. It's a community, and it doesn't stop at the end of this hour. So I want to thank you for taking the time to join us today. And uh, after this break, we're going to get started going over some great information. You're going to meet some great people. And thank you for joining us. We'll be right back after this message from Matthew McConaughey. Streaming live, the leader in Internet talk radio, voiceamerica.com. 
Would it be crazy if you just stopped everything, packed your bags and left for a week, a month, a year? What if you left for two years? Would people think you'd lost your mind? What if you were going far away to help in a village on the edge of the Gobi Desert? A village crowded with Buddhist temples, not skyscrapers. A place where there isn't a word for recluse, but a thousand words for community. Would it be crazy to go 5,000 miles from home? To spend time with people the rest of the world only reads about? To build libraries and fill them with stories? Prepare a meal with food you helped grow? To teach children? and learn a thing or two about yourself. Would that be crazy? Peace Corps. Life is calling. How far will you go? To find out more, call 1-800-424-8580 or visit peacecorps.gov. Hemp Inc. is the first publicly traded company focused on growing and processing hemp right here in the United States of America. The USA is the number one importer of hemp, and as more farmers begin growing it here in the United States, Hemp Inc. stands ready with the only equipment in North America to process the crops. Hemp Inc. brings you all the latest products while continuing to educate the world about the healing benefits of this incredible plant. Go to hempinc.com. That's H E M P I N C.com. Stock symbol H-E-M-P on the OTC market. Do you know a nonprofit that could use more money to accomplish their mission? Are you working for a charitable cause right now and need funding to do more? Nonprofitfundraising.com is dedicated to helping nonprofits and charities raise the funds they need. Discover the best fundraising ideas of 2015 and compare your fundraising results with others. Learn how to grow your organization and connect with more supporters at nonprofitfundraising.com. That's nonprofitfundraising.com. The Internet's number one talk station. Number one talk station. VoiceAmerica.com. Welcome back to Up Close with Chris Tinney. To call in and be part of the show, dial 1 866 472 5788 from anywhere in North America. That's 1 866 472-5788. And now, back to the show. Welcome back to Up Close with Chris Titty. I am your host, and wow, I, I was coming in hot. Sorry about that, guys. Our producer helped me get squared away during that break, uh, coming in a little uh, high on your on your radio or your internet, wherever you're listening from. Uh, we've got lots of callers on the line. I just want to, first of all, thank everybody for being part of this show. This is something that's really started uh, a long, long time ago, but this really is about community. For those of you that know, I was involved in, in as the founder and co-founder of PowerfulIntentions.com, a, an online community that went on to become the official online community for the number one independent film of all time on Amazon called The Secret. So you're going to notice I've got a lot of positive vibrations around me. <laughs> <laughs> that's why it's, that's that's why I'm so happy all the time. That's why, frankly, I'm able to do what I'm able to do because I have lots of great people that really want to do a lot. And when they come together, there's really no stopping them. So I'll tell you what, we're going to go ahead and uh, take a few calls here right now. We've got Martin Vert out of California. Welcome to welcome to Up Close. Hey, Chris. I'm I'm really excited to, to be on the call. Thank you for having me. Hey, well, I can see what's happening is everybody's been visiting us on social media. And I, I have a lot of friends lining up here to call in. That's a, thank you, guys. I really appreciate it. What an awesome uh, welcome to my dude digs here on Voice America. You know, uh, hey, Martin, uh, you're going to appreciate this because I know you've worked with Mark Victor Hansen and Jenny Craig, a lot of the big, big, big boys out there and big women out there in, in this kind of industry. Uh, the, the Voice America has 3.5 million listeners every month. Can you believe that? I know, and I think that Voice America needs Chris Tinney, and I'm sitting here listening, and I don't know if you picked the whistling, but the whistling kind of reminds me of you. I love it. <laughs> well, I always tell people, I, I hope to become your favorite wine-drinking, Harley-riding, vegan, Buddhist uh, radio show host. <laughs> it's definitely a different well, perspective. I, I, I hey, Martin, I'm going to have you on one of the shows, by the way. I just want to let people know, for those of you that don't know Martin Verde, he's the, the founder of itrueyou.com. Uh, he, he does a lot of personal coaching. He's consulted with some of the nation's largest brands on how to build their brand. And, but more importantly than that, he's taken that now and brought that to people and showing people how to create the life they want 
whether that be everything from their health to their to their relationships. And I'm really excited about what you have planned for itreeu.com, Martin. I can't wait to be on the show with you, Chris. And I wanted to really share my testimonial with you. I wanted to say I've been right next to you. We've been on other projects together and always uh, gratifying. Uh, I remember going to Florida and it, it would be like, well, what are we going to do? Well, I don't know. We'll just uh, do a meetup group and see what happens. And I'd always be, <laughs> we're the opposites. Uh, you, you, we look different. I would wear, I'd wear, we'd wear different clothes and all that. And we really developed an, an awesome relationship and relatedness. And it always was around community and people. And I wanted to plan everything. And I loved it. Chris was more of one of those build it and they will come things. So I'm really excited about the radio show because I know as everybody wants to hear something positive and uplifting. And they may have something positive and uplifting to say. And what I've always seen you do is say your voice matters. Uh, we could be uh, asking people to send tents for people that need tents all over the country that have nowhere to live. Or we could be feeding people. But you're always the guy that stands up there on Channel 2 News and says, you know, we want to hear what they have to say. These people are important. And I've seen so many videos and, and you and Taisha lifting up people. I've been walking home in, in cold, freezing snow. And I watched you give your, your own pair of boots away and watched you walk home in your, in your socks to, to somebody who doesn't have a pair of boots. And don't even think twice about it. I just think, Chris, I'm really glad you're on the radio. A lot of people need to hear what you have to offer. You you know, you're born to this earth for a reason. And I'm, I'm glad that your voice is going to get out there on Voice America. Hey, well, thank you so much, Martin, for joining us. And I, hey, I look forward to having you on one of our future shows. I know our listeners are going to really enjoy what you have to say. I can't and... wait to share what I have to share <laughs> with people. Thank All you. Right, th I look forward to it. All right. Thanks a lot, Martin Vert from uh, California for calling in. I appreciate it. Him and I, have, uh, he's gone out on the streets with us uh, a lot of times, like many of you have. And it's just really uh, a blessing to hear some of these voices. Hey, guys, I, I got to jump to this call because we have a, a really uh, great person on the line who who I've actually interviewed before on, on my one of my other stations. And, and uh, matter of fact, when I was here at uh, 720 KDON here in Las Vegas, that's actually where... AM Coast to Coast hosts got his start originally. Matter of fact, he, this guy is actually the number one invited guest on Coast to Coast AM, Daniel Brinkley. He wrote a book in, uh, it was, what was that? It was 1994, I think it was, Saved by the Light, where he wrote about his two near-death experiences. And, and not only is that an amazing book, I think he has a new one coming out, but he's also the founder of an awesome nonprofit that, that helps veterans. It's a hospice program with called the Twilight Brigade, and he calls it Compassion in Action. And he spent thousands and thousands of hours with dying vets as they're as they're passing over the next life. Daniel Brinkley, thank you so much for calling in. Oh, Chris, but thank you. I was like uh, the guy just before you. I was listening to it. It sounded like you guys were running raves under underground, but. <laughs> um, it was a perfect description of the founder of Raves, how he started. Uh, everything was illegal. But anyway, I'm really proud that once again you've stepped back up to the plate. It's, since I, you are a personal friend and I have a chance to be around you, not just a personality, you're a real person that really has a heart and caring. And people need news. But they need tools to help them navigate this ever-changing world. And as we're watching it, that they know they have a place to, t to turn across the medium, from, uh, from the radio to the Internet to all social media. There's a way and a place to contact. And that means that a lot of people out there with good ideas trying to make a difference will have a place to turn to get support information and to provide information so that all of us can come together we have to change the world you know it says it says lord give me the ability to change the things i can and to accept the things that i cannot well wow. i think that this show contributes to the fact that there are many things that that we thought we can't change, but that we really can as we come together as a people of heart, mind, and soul, focused and having you as a, a portal and a source. Well, thank you so much, Daniel. And I got to tell you, I just saw your picture again on uh, Fox News Sunday 
uh, with uh, Rand Paul, and, and uh, I know you're doing a lot to, to legalize hemp, and you're doing a lot with the Twilight Brigade to help veterans. Uh, you've really touched me in a lot of different ways. I want, I want to thank you for that, brother. Hey, tell us, what's this new book you have? Are you allowed to talk about that yet, or am I talking out of school? Yeah, it's called 10 Things to Know Before You Go. You know, after being a hospice volunteer for 38 years and accumulating more than 32,000 hours at the bedside, there's a lot of things about, and going through three of these experiences myself, there's a lot of things about us looking at this thing called death that is so much nonsense. So 10 things to know before you go is my warped sense of humor and my wife Catherine's beautiful, articulate way of giving people a way to look at it. Here's how it opens. The first thing it says is, what's the number one cause of death in America and most other countries? And a big question mark. You turn to the next page and it says, no matter what you thought the answer was, birth is the number one cause of death. That if you were born, you're leaving. And you turn to the next page and it says, remember, if you're breathing, you're leaving. And if you just took a breath, this book is for you. But the, so, but the short version of it, Chris, is this. We all need to aspire to inspire before we expire. And so you are doing just that. You're creating a way to inspire people, that people can see that they have the potential and the ability to make that difference and they can step up to the place and they can find a home where they're comfortable within this this great social media world and they have the sense and to be safety. Mine is about palliative and end-of-life care. When people realize that there's 75 million baby boomers, people in my age group were born between 1940 and 1967, and then there's another 6 million with green cards or, or, or permanent residents of the United States, about 50 million of those people will be leaving in the next 13 or 14 years. This has to be faced and looked at it and brought into a context because we in my age group, 65, me and, and remember 10,000 turn 65 every day. We have the sense and the power if we're smart to change the world since we help co-create it as it, as it has become. And with people like you, which is you're a little younger, but with people in that same age group, it is our responsibility to rise to the challenge to take back our governments, to take back our own consciousness, and to let the driving nature of our hearts and the understand be driven out of compassion and not out of fear. So I really want to thank you and appreciate you and let you know how much and how proud I am of you and for Tysha to come together, to put this all together, and to give people a voice, a place, and a social world that they can live in that's not just about whatever comes along to distract us from our real problems. And thanks, Chris. And let me ask you something. How is Greg? Greg is great. You know, for those of you that don't know, everyone from the Tantalk Network and uh, WDCF and WZHR will remember that Greg Lunger, the Yogi's Ended, was our co-host on that show for, for the, our time that we were there. He left, actually, four days ago to drop everything and go live in India. And he is going to be doing some crystal bowl singings on the side of the Ganji River. He's going to be tracing the steps of some of the people that he admires. And uh, I'm hoping to have him on here because I, the things I've learned is it's amazing as you, you know, expatriate this company, which this country uh, is, is uh, really exciting. So thank you for asking about him, Daniel. He's, he's, he's doing because real well. Because he's important. And I, I hope that if he hears this show, which is highly possible, then that he knows that we love him and appreciate him, and we would like to. I would like to help and participate in his journey. I would like to hear what's happening and listen to his thoughts because for people who don't know Greg, for everybody that's listening, this is a really smart, wonderful, cool veteran, and uh, to take this journey at the age that he is to, to literally walk away from what we think is called civilization and to go back is 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 very proud and very i'm very proud of that but he's also very brave and courageous and he's following what his heart is telling him which so many of us are not and what you're yeah. doing is creating in a way that we can follow our hearts and find community 
Well, thank you so much, folks. That was Daniel Brinkley, author of Saved by the Light. We're going to have him on as a, a guest on one of our future shows. I see we've got some others on the phone here. Before uh, I get to Bruce Perlowin, because I see his name on online holding too, uh, I'm going to. He's the CEO of Hemp Inc. By the way, you heard that commercial in the first round. He's also the founder of of the first publicly traded company about industrial hemp, and has helped create the, the second animal sanctuary out in Dolan Springs. Uh, but first, I want to go out to Los Angeles. The Wida, are you there? I'm Chris. Wida, thank you so much for calling in. Thank you. How are you? I'm doing great. What, so what say you today? Well, what I say today is I wanted to thank you because what you're doing is just incredible. I've been following you for about five years but I haven't wow. been able to really become active in, it, in any real way. I'm a student full-time, and I'm very busy. But I just wanted to let you know that I oh, think what that... you're doing is absolutely the most fantastic thing. And, and just thank you so much, you and Tysha, oh. and your whole movement. I, well, I love you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, we love you, too. What are you going to school to do, Wida? Well, right now, I just got my associate's degree in Spanish, and I'm transferring to UCLA, and I'm going to major in psychology, and then I'm going to go get my three-year um, master's in nursing, where I will be able to be a, a PA, physician assistant. Great. Wow, that's exciting. You know, we just got back from Mexico, where my father has a a school for the migrant worker children that can't go to the regular school because they lack the shoes or the uniform or a lot of them, their parents won't let them go to work because they want them to go earn money every day with them. And uh, maybe when you uh, get that PA, we can get you down there for a weekend to help some of these children. <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> that I, would be I, I read that whole post. That was very moving. Very moving. Oh. So thank you again, Chris. I know thank you have you. a lot thank of people to talk to. Sure. And, um Yay, thank you. Thank, thank you so much, Wita, for calling in. Folks, this is Up Close with Chris Tinney. This is what the show's about. You're joining me in my living room. This is my living room. It's kind of like that, right? It's like Water's World, my whole... This, this is my... This show really is about you. This first one's really about meeting because, like I said, we're creating a community. We're creating a community of people that are coming together to do some like-minded stuff. So I think this is great that you're getting to meet some of my friends over the next few weeks. You're going to meet some more of my friends and you're going to be able to join them online with the phone app and actually get to continue the conversation with the people you hear on this show. Learn more about the topics that they talk about. But right now, we're going to take a break before we get up with Bruce Perlin, and we'll be right back after this message. Stimulating talk it gets those synapses in the brain inspired really fast. All the time. The number one internet talk station where your opinion counts. VoiceAmerica.com. Do you know a nonprofit that could use more money to accomplish their mission? Are you working for a charitable cause right now and need funding to do more? NonprofitFundraising.com is dedicated to helping nonprofits and charities raise the funds they need. Discover the best fundraising ideas of 2015 and compare your fundraising results with others. Learn how to grow your organization and connect with more supporters at NonprofitFundraising.com. That's NonprofitFundraising.com. What would happen if you didn't follow the established path? If you did the unexpected? Would you feel scared? Proud? Relieved? Could you explain that helping the people of Peru improve their own community would also have an effect on your own? Or assisting an entrepreneur in Ukraine to launch her small business? Or creating a support group in Malawi for children orphaned by AIDS? What if you established your own path? One that others might follow? Would you rather make your own way? Or spend your life saying, what if? Life is calling. How far will you go? Peace Corps. To find out more, call 1-800-424-8580. Or go to peacecorps.gov. The Internet's number one talk station. Number one talk station. VoiceAmerica.com. Welcome back to Up Close with Chris Tinney. To call in and be part of the show, dial 1-866-472-5788 from anywhere in North America. 
That's 1-866-472-5788. And now, back to the show. All right, guys, we're going to continue on proving there's a place for positive, uplifting conversation on talk radio. That's what we're doing, and we're creating a community of people just like you. Awesome people, right? You're awesome, aren't you? <laughs> we got done hearing from Daniel Brinkley, the author of Saved by the Light, WIDA in Los Angeles. Well, how awesome to catch up with uh, somebody that I haven't ever been able to talk to. That's what I love about radio. You know, she said she's been following us for five years online and seeing the pictures and, um, you know, how, how great to be able to connect. And with the new phone app and at ChrisTinney.com, uh, we're going to be able to connect even more people. Uh, you know, there's some companies out there that that sell their products and make a, a good, you know, return for their investors. And there's nothing wrong with that. And there's you know, a lot of companies out there that, that don't and they go out of business. But there's some companies out there that actually create a new way of doing business. They create a new way of looking at the, at the world. And when I first heard about hemp and people told me that it could save the planet, I thought that's a pretty, that's a pretty big statement. Hemp can heal the planet. And then I did a little bit of research and I learned that they planted hemp. Now, before we go further here, hemp is not pot. It's not marijuana. If you smoke it, you'll get a headache. It's, it doesn't have any THC or any of that stuff in it. Hemp, cannabis, canvas. Our colonists were required to grow hemp. And when I did research on it, I learned that they planted it at Chernobyl, nuclear disaster, because it actually pulls toxins from the soil and leaves it better off than it was before. You can make over 30,000 different consumer products with hemp. And I got connected with a guy who, who was uh, crowned the king of pot. That was by the FBI, by the way. Had over 100 captains working for him back in the day. Um, served time for that. But in the last 20 years, he's been a social entrepreneur out there attacking causes. And, and, his, and his new, when well, it's not new, it, it, his cause now is the CEO of Hemp Inc., a company that is, has, as a matter of fact, right now they're in a really great position. Hemp is getting legalized everywhere. You heard Daniel Brinkley talk about uh, his time with Rand Paul and some of the other legislatures. The states are right now, already some of them have, legalizing it so our farmers can start growing hemp. Hemp is the number one imported plant in our country, number one imported good. We're the number one importer of hemp, and yet our farmers aren't allowed to grow it. We're importing it from other countries. We're putting their farmers back to work. Well, this guy's changing that. And his company, Hemp Inc., actually has the only equipment in North America that can process the hemp so that it can then be turned into uh, clothing, canvas. I think he's building houses out of it. Well, we'll ask him. Bruce Perlowen, thank you for calling in. I, saw your, I was excited when I saw your name on the wait list. Well, thank you, Chris. Thank you for having me. And by the way, to start off, I want to congratulate you on your new radio show. Um, I've listened to all of your radio shows before, and uh, I'm very excited. And, and congratulations uh, for being on Voice America. Uh, so a big, uh, well, big shout out to Chris Finney. Oh uh, well, thank you so much, Bruce. I appreciate that. You know, you've you've actually made some substantial donations to to spread Peace USA, which helped us feed you know thousands of homeless people. I think we're up to about a half a million meals so far that Spread Peace USA has served to those in need. Uh, you've also donated to Keepers of the Wild and and helped them create their second four thousand acre animal sanctuary. Um, uh, the the who's the, who's the doctor guy? I can't remember his name. Oh, Patch Adams. Patch Adams. Yeah, he's building a <laughs> hospital and the Agape Church with Michael Beckwith. You've donated. I mean, you, uh, there's dozens of them at BrucePerlwin.com, guys. You can see what he's doing. Bruce, tell us what are you doing with Hemp Inc. I mean, what, what, tell tell people a little bit about your co company. And I don't, don't want you to forget that you've already committed to being a guest on one of our shows because I could spend a full hour with you. We can't do that today, but maybe you could tell people a little bit about Hemp Inc. and why it's different. Okay, well, Hemp Inc. Um, there's two pieces to it. There's the big industrial part, which is this hemp decortication plant in North, in North Carolina. It's 70,000 square feet, the building, and it houses, if you would build it new, a $15 million worth of equipment um, that will take the fiber out of the hemp plant uh, or the canaf plant, which is what they built it for originally because canaf is legal, but it does the same thing with hemp. And hemp, you can make fiber... Uh, so we will automatically take the fiber out. That'll make clothing. That'll make paper. That'll make building materials. The, then the core of the hemp plant, we grind that up into a mesh, and we use that for other materials, everything from kitty litter to lost circulation material and uh, oil well drilling, which is a, a natural product instead of a chemical a synthetic product that they use now that pollutes the environment. So that's what we're doing on a very large scale. Uh, on a smaller scale, where we sell hemp, you can go to hempinc.com, 
And you can see our, we have a, cosmetic, a cosmeceutical line with shampoo and conditioners and lotions and, uh, you know, for, and skincare products. And then we have a nutraceutical line. The first of that line is a, a hemp protein with other spirulina, AFA, uh, uh, cordyceps in it. It's an amazing, amazing blend of hemp. Hemp is considered a uh, superfood. So we want to mm. keep as well, you know, the, the future of hemp being is this, on, on one scale is the giant decortication plants and other decortication plants that we're in the process of actually building right now because that thing will not process, you know, the, the hundreds of thousands of acres of hemp that will be grown in America upon legalization. So um, we want to keep doing the smaller things like shampoos and conditioners and lotions and, and the proteins and the seeds and, and, and even uh, we announced that we're going to come out with a CBD line. CBDs mm. is the inactive, the non-psychoactive product inside of uh, medical marijuana or in hemp. It's much greater amounts in hemp because it doesn't get you high, which uh, those that know hemp does not get you high. And But if you concentrate down the CBDs, that's the healing quality of the uh, hemp plant. Hey, Bruce, what's going on with the, the legalization movement right now for both hemp and, and medical marijuana? I, 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 I get things every day. I, I can't keep up on it. Some of the states have already legalized hemp, or are they not legalized? What, what, what's happening on that front? Well, well, there was a big, you know, a few years ago, and, and now, there's, you know, the big thing that catches the media is medical marijuana. Um, and that was, you know, the last four or five years uh, it has picked up a lot of speed. But now, industrial hemp... Everybody knows the difference, all right? Everyone confused hemp with marijuana. It's, oh, you get high off hemp. Okay, no. When you get high off it for recreational use and for medical use and the other you build stuff with. Well, all the politicians know that you build stuff with hemp and they're, and, and they're intelligent enough to know the difference. If you don't know the difference now and you're a politician, you're, 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 you're considered uh, very You shouldn't stupid. be. You shouldn't be a politician <laughs> if you don't know. <laughs> right, exactly. I don't try to put it politely. But... Um, so, you know, two days ago or last week, I think it was Friday, they, um, they legalized hemp in the state of Nevada where our home company is. And you know, when you look at when they legalize it, it's like 41 to 0. They voted for it in the House or the Senate, whichever it was. And then the Senate was 17 to 0. I remember when they did it in South Carolina, it was 78 to 0. So you don't get much opposition. There's now 24 states that have legalized industrial hemp. And every day it seems like there's a new one. Because there's literally no opposition. They said, oh, duh, it's not marijuana. This, you can, this makes a lot of money for our farmers. This makes rope. This makes clothes. You know, we're the largest user of, of hemp in, in the world. Uh, Costco sells hemp seeds. Every health food store in America sells hemp oil or hemp protein or, and, and hemp seeds and hemp lotions and, and uh, skin care. So we, we know that it's legal now. They're voting it literally, it seems, on a daily basis. And soon there's a bill moving through Congress and to, that it'll probably be uh, legal very, very soon, probably at the very latest by the end of 2016. And we're in a catbird seat with the only decortication plant, not just in North America, but North or South America of its size. There's only five of them this big in the world. 30,000 square foot building is a big building to house that, that, that machinery. Wow, that is awesome. Hey, we have Kevin Sanders on the phone in California that has a question for you. Kevin, what's your, what's your question, friend? Hi. Uh, yeah, I was just wondering, um, how are they going to, um, how are the industries going to uh, figure out the issue uh, of hemp versus cannabis farming in regards to the cross-pollination of, of these potential billion-dollar industries? And, and, are, and do you see uh, a future that has California... Um, uh, uh, having hemp in certain geographical locations, maybe Kern, Kern County, Central California, and leaving maybe the, the cannabis farming to, to Northern California. And I was just wondering what your thoughts on that. And um, I'd be uh, appreciate if uh, uh, you could just also uh, tell me the viability of what you think the legalization in California, uh, what the chances are that it will be legalized in 2016. Thanks a lot, Kevin. Bruce? Okay, that's a great question. Uh, and first of all, let me answer the last part of it first. 2016, yes, California will legalize medical marijuana, a uh, recreational marijuana, medical Missouri. So I also believe so will um, Florida and, uh, and, and a couple other states. And that'll be the tipping point. 2016 is going to be the tipping point 
um, because they will legalize in too many states. Now, what he was referring to, for those that don't, don't know, it's when you're growing medical marijuana outside for the medicinal value and the, or the recreational value, if you have hemp, the pollen from the hemp supposedly will blow onto the uh, medical marijuana and make, um, the, make males out of the females. It'll pollinate it, and that will ruin the high-quality medical marijuana. Now, that could happen, or that could be, uh, a, what do you call it, urban legend or an old wives' tale. The mm-hmm. growers in Northern California that I know that actually did grow hemp near a medical marijuana field said that that did not happen, that the cross-pollination of the hemp contaminating, if you will, the, the high-quality medical marijuana does not happen. Now, if it does happen, and so we, I don't know the answer to that. If it does or doesn't, the jury's out. But if it does, everyone will probably be moving indoors to grow the medical marijuana indoors so it can't be um, pollinated. But that could pose a problem or could not pose a problem. If it does pose a problem, all the medical marijuana will have to go indoors to keep away from hemp because you could be growing hemp 200 miles away and the wind can blow the pollen and, and, uh, and pollinate that medical marijuana if, in fact, that was what really happened. I know some pretty sophisticated growers that say, no, that's not what happens. <laughs> that's what everyone thinks happens. But in reality, it doesn't happen. So, hey, hey Bruce, we're, we, we're bumping we up know. against a, we're bumping up against a break here. I hope that answered your, uh, your, uh, the question for Kevin there. Thanks for calling in, Kevin. Our phones are lighting up with people who want to ask you questions. Hey, guys, you're going to have to tune in when Bruce is a guest for the full hour. <laughs> I apologize because I'm bumping up against a break. Hey, you've got a festival, but real quick, uh, you've got a festival happening out in Dolan Springs, Arizona, coming up. Yes, it's not my festival, it's my land. I let people do festivals on my land for free. I don't charge them because they're transformational festivals. They teach yoga, they teach living outdoors, they teach organic gardening, and then at night they have music and they rock out. And uh, that festival's coming up June 5th and 6th, and you can go and see that at a website called spelled out r0point.com, R-O-U-R-Z-E-R-O, spelled out P-O-I-N-T, spelled out dot com. And uh, it's going to be pretty cool. We have a bunch of geodesic domes out there. We have water out there. It's not in the middle of a hot desert. It is hot, but at least we have water. And it'll be a lot of fun this coming weekend. I'll see you there, Bruce. <laughs> hey, Bruce, thanks a lot for calling. <laughs> it means a lot. Hey, hey, you know what? It means a lot to me to have you on my first show uh, with Voice America. Thank you. I appreciate it. Well, thank you for inviting me, Chris. I really appreciate what you're doing and love what you're doing. Uh, thank you, Bruce. Keep it up. Folks, you're listening to Up Close with Chris Tenney. This is what it's about, inviting you into my living room and get to meet my friends. We chat. You get to listen in, get to call in, ask your questions, and hopefully they become your friends too. And then hopefully together at ChrisTenney.com and with our new phone app and our, our online community at Goodreads and our group at Facebook, uh, we, we can do some great stuff together. I, as a matter of fact, I know we are. It's a done deal, and it's going to stick. We'll be right back after this break. Streaming live, the leader in Internet talk radio, voiceamerica.com. I'm Elena. I have a master's degree in giving hope to children in Ethiopia. I'm John. My farm experience helped villagers in the Philippines feed themselves. I'm Nanaya. I have a degree in making an impact for generations to come. If you have a degree in agriculture, the environment, or teaching English, you actually have a degree in doing more than you ever thought possible. Peace Corps volunteers can truly make a difference in the lives of people all over the world. With your skills and education, you could help create an irrigation system for a small village in Paraguay, or share new teaching methods to educators in Moldova. The experiences you'll gain in the Peace Corps will stay with you forever. This is your chance to make a real difference, a difference only you can make. Explore how the Peace Corps can fit into your future. Visit peacecorps.gov. My resume. My resume. My resume now includes changing lives. Do you know a nonprofit that could use more money to accomplish their mission? Are you working for a charitable cause right now and need funding to do more? Nonprofitfundraising.com is dedicated to helping nonprofits and charities raise the funds they need. 
Discover the best fundraising ideas of 2015 and compare your fundraising results with others. Learn how to grow your organization and connect with more supporters at nonprofitfundraising.com. That's nonprofitfundraising.com. Hemp Inc. is the first publicly traded company focused on growing and processing hemp right here in the United States of America. The USA is the number one importer of hemp, and as more farmers begin growing it here in the United States, Hemp Inc. stands ready with the only equipment in North America to process the crops. Hemp Inc. brings you all the latest products while continuing to educate the world about the healing benefits of this incredible plant. Go to hempinc.com. That's H-E-M-P-I-N-C.com. Stock symbol H-E-M-P on the OTC market. Stimulating talk it gets those synapses in the brain firing really fast. All the time. The number one internet talk station where your opinion counts. VoiceAmerica.com. Welcome back to Up Close with Chris Tinney. To call in and be part of the show, dial 1-866-472-5788 from anywhere in North America. That's 1-866-472-5788. And now, back to the show. Welcome back to Up Close with Chris Tinney, and thank you so much for tuning in today, calling in, listening in, sharing with your friends. I really appreciate it. The truth is we're going to have thousands and thousands more people, maybe tens of thousands if we're lucky, listen to this show, the recorded version, once it's posted online. So don't forget, if you ever missed one of the shows or you want to go back and re-listen, you missed one of the things that were mentioned, you can go to ChrisTinney.com or you can go to VoiceAmerica.com and find my host page there and listen to any of the, the shows. This one will be take, it'll take a few hours to get this posted, and then once it up, it'll be distributed for all the normal channels. So I'm having fun, folks. I'm like a kid in a candy store. I've gone from, uh, I guess, what, 50,000 watts is the most I've ever uh, blasted through out of K-Don here in Las Vegas. Uh, but Voice America with, you know, millions of listeners, that doesn't mean they're all listening to my show, uh, but they will, right, with your help with all of us working together you know a lot of them are and that's what i get really excited about is what we're going to be able to share with people and and um, i'm just really ecstatic that you're getting to meet a lot of my friends today and it just so happens that i got back from mexico with my brother we went down to see my dad who has a school for for the children of uh, migrant workers it was really touching down my wife taisha went with us and uh, it was really exciting he's an investment banker in san francisco and well i guess worldwide <laughs> he lives in san francisco uh, and, and he's on the line Dean, thanks for calling in. Hey, Chris. Uh, we should probably tell people that our voices sound so much alike that our mom doesn't know who's calling her on the phone. So <laughs> if I sound too much like uh, you, they'll know that indeed we are two entirely different people. Well, and whenever I call her and I say something that upsets her, I just hang up by saying, okay, well, tell Chris, tell Chris I called. <laughs> <laughs> I started up for, for those of you that don't know. I started. How was it? Twenty years ago. I mean, you're still. You know, you you have your own brokerage right now. But I twenty yeah. years ago, I was a broker with you at uh, the firm that we owned together and specialized in socially responsible stocks. And it wasn't even a word back then. I don't even know if they they had coined that term yet. But yeah, I, you you were ahead of your time for sure. I told you how difficult I thought that was to uh, build that niche, but now it's billions of dollars that have been allocated uh, based on those principles. Well, maybe I can have you on sometime to talk to people about how their dollars really do matter, you know, how they invest them, how they actually can, you know, influence the direction of a company if they well, support not, not them. Only, not only their dollars, but, you know, their votes. I mean, that's a whole conversation we can have in a future uh, show about whether you should divest or if you're not going to divest, if you're going to be an activist shareholder and know the issues that are in your proxy and whether you're voting yes or no, whether it's Costco and whether they're going to use them in the domain to foreclose on auto shops and uh, downtown areas to build Costco's and raise the tax base of the city, yeah, something like that, or if it's natural resource companies involved in extraction and whether they're going to be transparent about how much money they're giving to Angola or Nigeria so that uh, you would know how many billions are actually missing in terms of uh, not making it to the people. Uh, yeah, I think there's definitely a show there. Well, that's exciting. I, I know... Um... I, I know that you you have a lot of investments that you help people with as well. Maybe you can share with people here if they're a small investor and they're and they're looking to get involved in things. What, what do you recommend that they? Where do they start on something like that? Well, I think the, the most important thing is to have professional management, uh, diversification, and ease of ownership. And you know, there's a uh, conflict, or I should say, a controversy or a debate about active or passive management. Uh, assuming you don't think 
you know, professional management is important. I mean, there is a problem with having monkeys harvest bananas and that that's the, they eat the product. Money <laughs> managers very much do the same. So assuming you are into active management, I would suggest an actively uh, for most investors a mutual fund because uh, they can get in with a little bit of money. They get professional management, diversification, ease of ownership, and if you don't have the time, temperament, and expertise to be battling Mr. Market, that's a great solution. Now, if they are uh, don't believe active management uh, is uh, that important, depending on which side of that debate, and again, we can have that debate on a future show as well, then I would recommend either uh, an exchange-traded fund where you're not paying for the manager, uh, something that's indexed to, uh, you know, like the, uh, the S&P 500, or, uh, you know, um, the Russell 2000, or, you know, something like that, uh, and uh, or the Vanguard. It's a kind of a tracking fund that's uh, mm-hmm. very good, low expenses, and that's one that Mr. Buffett recommended to his uh, heirs when he passes on. He said, put 90% of your money into it, the Vanguard 500, and 10% wow. in cash, and who are we to argue with Mr. Buffett? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Hey, Dean, well, thanks a lot for calling on. I really appreciate it. I would like to do another show. I think there's a lot of people out there that are just confused with their investments and they don't know who to trust. And if you can't trust my brother, who can you trust? <laughs> so, so I appreciate that. Thanks for calling in, Dean. Okay. All righty. <laughs> I'll talk to you there. Hey, guys, uh, it, it, you know, I, 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 I can't say it enough. I, I'm, I'm just thrilled to be here on Voice America with you today, chatting with uh, some of my friends and talking to people. I see I've got a message coming in here. The calls keep coming in. If you didn't get in today on, on, the, on the calls, I, you know, call in again next week. Follow the conversation online because it doesn't stop at the end of this hour. For those of you that have been following along for the last, I guess, coming up on nine years that I've traveled the country with my wife, Taisha, uh, feeding the homeless. I've been out on the streets with Food Not Bombs, with, you know, Habitat, Spread Peace chapters all over the country from Portland to Florida. Uh, it, it's really changed who I was. And, and that all happened because of a woman that I met uh, nearly nine years ago. I put up an ad on Craigslist that I was going to throw a law of attraction party at Pismo Beach and who wanted to come? <laughs> so it was packed with a lot of people of from the Powerful Intentions online community, of course. Uh, but one of those people was Taisha. And she was traveling around the country in her RV and her four dogs, and I was tra- I had just bought a new RV to go travel the country with my one dog, and we met, and we ended up, it's a long story, we ended up getting married 60 days later, we broadcast our wedding on the internet, had over a thousand people tune in to watch that, and they just kind of became our friends and started following us along. Matter of fact, some of the people that I see tried to call in were actually some of those people, and I, I feel bad I didn't get to them today. Um, but she's gonna be part of this show too. She actually did, as co-hosted some of my shows uh, every week, uh, this time, she's going to do one once a month. She wants to dig in with some of the people. Matter of fact, she's on the line here, so I'm going to introduce you to her. I, I know you'll grow. If you don't know her, you're going to grow to love her as much as I do. Hey, Taisha, thank you for calling in, and thank you for agreeing to do a, a show this week. <laughs> hey, what a sweet introduction, huh? Oh, well, I, I mean every word of it. Hey, maybe you can just share with people, you know, I, I asked you to do a, a, an ep, you know, a segment once a month to share with people things that you're excited about and people that you're working with. Maybe you can just talk to, tell people a little bit about why you got so passionate about sharing this kind of information with people. Oh, thank you, hon. Well, um, when I met Chris, we both had kind of the same goal of, you know, um, helping others and, and helping those in need. And um, we we kind of landed in, in Reno, and um, we started Spread Peace, and it was an organization that um, we go out and we feed the homeless and we bring awareness to the homeless community. And um, it, it, it grew really big just from us posting pictures on Facebook of people in need. And um, it was just such an amazing thing and the thing is we didn't plan to you know start an organization but it just kind of happened so we started spread peace or spread peace and we um, encourage people to go out and help in their community and what what kinds of stuff are you going to be sharing with everybody each month um well i'm going to be um interviewing nonprofits and um, people that are making a difference. And, you know, what I found by um, being on the streets and helping others is that, you know, people are really kind out there. They really want to make a difference. And um, the thing is, is it's, you know, they don't, they don't know how, they don't know, they don't know how easy it is. 
So <clears throat> I'm going to be bringing um, nonprofits in our community and sharing their stories and sharing how easy it is to get involved in helping. And, um, awesome. You know, whether it's a, a um, an animal sanctuary or feeding the homeless, my passion is, you know, helping the homeless. Um, but sharing how easy it is and how rewarding it is to help others. Well, well, awesome. I can't wait. You've got your own segment now, all your own to share the things you're passionate yes, about. I, I'm I am really wait. looking forward to just bringing, um, bringing the, the nonprofits into the, the spotlight, you know, and, and showing like, all how right. easy it is to volunteer and how rewarding it is to volunteer and how much fun it is. Well, so. thank you for calling in and you're the only caller that I'm going to end with. Thank you for calling in. I love you. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Folks, uh, up close <laughs> with Chris Tenney. This is what the show is all about. It's about joining me each week to, to hang out with my friends, talk about things that are going on uh, in the future. The way the show will go is in the first 15 minutes, I'm going to go over updates, news, things that are happening. The, the news that matters, though, right? The stuff that, that, that you can put into use every day. In the next segment, we're going to interview an author of a book from our Goodreads online community. I really hope you go, if you're on Goodreads, I hope you go check out that community. Uh, get involved, suggest authors, suggest books. Maybe you are an author. Maybe you're writing a book. I, you post it on there. I'd love to love to talk to you. Then we're going to have a, a chat with somebody that's a social entrepreneur. It could be a nonprofit or a business. It, you know, If they're doing good in the world and they're doing it in a unique way and they're making a difference, I want to share with people. And then in that last 15 minutes, we're going to go uh, talk about some of the things that are happening with our own up-close community, both on the website and everywhere else because you know there's one thing that really struck me as i was going around ensenada uh meeting these children that my father was inviting to come to school and and learning that their parents want them to work in the fields rather than go get an education i mean some of these kids are as, as young as three four years old i mean they're a couple of four-year-olds uh I, it just blew me away and it really reiterated what I was already thinking when I was preparing for this show last week, that education really is the key. Uh, that, you know, our, our cities are in turmoil. Our, our society has in, income inequality like we've never seen it before. Three out of five children uh, say they go to bed hungry. Uh, there's all sorts of things going out there, but the good news is we can do something about it because we can do something about it when we become educated, when we learn the simple things that we can do that make a difference. And we can free others like these children by giving them an education because education is what breaks the chains that bind you to your past. And there is nothing like being responsible, no matter in what small way it might be, to, to helping people get that education so they can learn how they can make a difference. And so that's what this show is all about. I hope you take a look at our new phone app at christeney.com. You can link to that. And um, you'll be able to take a look at that and, and download it onto your phone. Uh, take, get on Twitter. I can't believe we've had like 5,000 people join our Twitter feed. I just opened that up. I, I, didn't, I didn't tweet. I admitted I was a non-tweeter until <laughs> just a few days ago. And already that's really taking off. Our, our YouTube channel, Spread Peace USA, has all the videos from the past year. I just opened up my new one, Chris Tinney, for the show. So I'll be introducing you to some of the people there. And in future shows, you're going to get to meet people like Bruce Perlow that you heard about, the CEO of Hemp Inc., Daniel Brinkley, who was the author of Saved by the Light, and some of the others. So matter of fact, I can see we are out of time. Folks, you're going to have to tune in next week. Thanks for tuning in to Up Close with Chris Tinney. This is the end of the show. You don't have to let the conversation end now. Visit ChrisTinney.com to learn more about today's topic. Listen to past shows and connect with like-minded people. Up Close with Chris Tinney is broadcast live every Tuesday at 5 p.m. Pacific, 8 p.m. Eastern on the Voice America Variety Channel and rebroadcast online and throughout North America in select markets. Thanks for listening. Thanks for sharing. And we'll see you next week on Up Close with Chris Tinney.